I have been having a ton of fun using this loadout the past couple days. Basically, I wanted to have some fun setting everything on fire. So basically, I've been using the SG-225 Breaker Incendiary Shotgun, which isn't quite as good as the main one, but that's okay. It's more fun. So then I've been using the Redeemer Machine Pistol for the most part, but you can use the Revolver instead if you want to be have fun being a space cowboy. And finally, I've actually been using the G10 Incendiary, obviously because it's the fire one, and it's actually better than I thought it was. I didn't really use it much, just like in normal play, but now that I've been using it more, I may actually use it just like for fun more often. So let's get into, oh yeah, and then for your armor, obviously you can sort of wear whatever, whatever you want, but I've been wearing the orange one, the Trench Engineer, just because it's orange, so I feel like it sort of fits the bill of, you know, setting everything on fire. I'm pretty sure you get it from like pretty low in the, I guess it's probably the, from the Steel Veterans pack, right? Maybe, no, I don't know. I don't know where I got it. Anyways, let's get right into the stratagems. So the stratagems that I like to use with this build is the Orbital Laser. It's not quite fire, but you sort of need a strong stratagem, at least one to be viable. And it, it's, it's sort of like fire, it's pretty orange. So then we got the Napalm, it's actually pretty decent. Then we're going to use the flamethrower, obviously. And then the last thing is actually I would use the shield generator pack as it's pretty useful when you're setting yourself on fire all the time. And the flamethrower has a pretty small uh, range, so you need to get close to the enemy, which means shield generator pack is pretty good. And then for our boosters, not everyone has all the boosters, but I would probably use the stamina, capacity, and recovery booster. So I will see y'all on the surface. Let's call down our flamethrower and shield generator. We're just gonna have some fun. We're on an egg breaking mission, which is pretty easy to do, so I'm not too worried about it. And this build is even more fun with friends because then you can set your friends on fire. Uh, they won't love you for it, but you know, you can laugh at them, so that's always good. So, anyways, let's head over to our first egg thing. We could take out this nest. Um, honestly, I don't really see any point in it. Oh, that's not good. So we might have to go through the nest. Let's see. Okay, no, we're fine. Honestly, the thing with the nests is they really don't give that much XP for clearing them. So what's the point really, right? Anyways, I'm going to run over to the eggs and I'll meet you all there. So it looks like we came across either an illegal broadcast thing or... Yeah, no, it's not an illegal uh, broadcast. It's where you get your own... Uh, tower so that's good so we're actually going to call down an orbital laser on this just to start out just because there are some big boys here and i'll probably make our job easier just by calling that in and then we will use our flamethrower for some fun got ourselves a bug breach which is fine honestly flamethrower is really nice for bug breaches because you can just spam it there and we'll have our orbital laser helping us out as well you do have to be careful, the flamethrower doesn't have too much ammo, so something to you know, be aware of at least. And I think we're pretty much good, we cleared it out pretty fast. Again, the laser is really, really strong. So let's do this tower real quick. May as well, right? We can go forward. And we're going to have to go over there and make sure that it is aiming the correct direction. While we're doing this, we may as well call in a resupply beacon, and honestly, I don't see any reason not to have an SOS beacon as well. It's fine to have other people join us in as long as they're not killing us. So let's reload on our supplies. So take a look if this is done yet. It's almost done. Okay, we will go adjust that to the right. I think it's to the right, hopefully. Looks like, looks like it. Like that, I guess it, we can hear when it's right. And it does look like there's a patrol over there, which we can probably make short work of. Yeah, I'm just gonna make short work of this patrol. This is why we have that because or the shield generator because otherwise we would have gotten absolutely destroyed by those things but we didn't because we have the shield generator so now we have this going for us let's go clear out those eggs over here we're right next to it so just do a quick run over there and honestly the napalm strikes are actually pretty good at clearing out eggs um, and you wouldn't know it but the incendiary grenades can take out nests so you don't have to worry about nests either which is quite nice 
use our shotgun. Incendiary, incendiary shotgun is pretty good. It's just not great against like um, like heavily armored stuff, but that's okay. Oh, there's another one. Got all of them. Okay, I think we're gonna call on a laser here. Oh, we can't call on a laser. Okay, that's not good. Um, let's run over to that. We'll just run around to the eggs and call in a napalm strike. And hopefully our laser will come back eventually. Uh, napalm is... I am bad. Uh, we'll just call that in there. Looks like our napalm missed everything. Okay. Oh, we got one tapped. All right, we got it under control. Not gonna worry about the times that I died there. For some reason, my napalm strike just completely missed all the eggs, but that's fine. We will go destroy them with our flamethrower. Now, as you can see, this build is a ton of fun. You get to light everything on fire. And it destroys the eggs quite quickly. Quite quickly, it sounded weird. We call it the exterminator build. And as you can see, if we throw an incendiary grenade down into the nest, it destroys it. Okay, we got our first one. Now we're gonna run across the map to the next one. I will meet y'all over there. Okay, we are running up on the other nest now, and this time we actually have our laser off cooldown, so that should make it a lot easier to clear out. We're actually just gonna start with the orbital laser, and it will help us out a ton, hopefully. Oh, we got one tapped already. That is very unfortunate. It sucks that those things one tap. I don't know if they really should, but that's fine. We will kill them all. There's only three of them. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, let's go get our stuff real quick. Pull out our flamethrower. Let's run towards the eggs. And then actually, let's click. So let's clear out the nest first. Go. And oh, we can get going. Come on. There we go. Kill all the eggs with fire, burn them all away, and we are done with our mission. So I am going to. Uh, Clear out this map real quick just because we I know where all the POIs are, so I will meet y'all at extract at the end. Fire the Okay, so we're coming up on extraction. I've hit every single POI on the map because we got them unlocked by that antenna tower. Got some medals, got some super credits, nothing insane for sure. And yeah, so we will defend our extract and get out successfully, hopefully. Let me know what you think of the build in the comments below. I've been having a ton of fun with it. It's just sort of fun because, you know, you get to burn everything, including your teammates if you have any. And I do hope that they buff the flamethrower a little bit more. Um, I've been seeing some comments about like, oops, I always mess these up for some reason. My fingers like don't do what my uh, brain tells them to, but anyways, I think they really should make it so that, um, it shoots like a liquid instead of just like most of the guns in the game feel really nice, but the flamethrower is like a little bit iffy, but that's okay. So we can actually call in more stuff because why not? Let's get some first person action here.
Uh-oh. I'd say this is working pretty well. We can get our other flamethrower. Um, honestly, now might be a fun time to call down a laser. If we get more enemies coming in. It's sort of disappointing that there aren't more, honestly. There we go. Laser! is going to do absolute work. Honestly, the first person view for the flamethrower looks pretty cool. I think it'd be cool if they added like a sight or something, but um, I do appreciate it for sure. We call down our last napalm just for fun. There's our eagle coming in. Oh, where did you come from, little guy? Just like a one single old baby. Just came from nowhere. Uh, our guy is looking a little bit rough around the edges, I'm not gonna lie. Bloody and ragged. Okay, let's get in our extract. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and thanks for watching, y'all.